we start with a super basic exercise that I like to do in my gym to understand a basic mechanic of the sweeps, which is the, the rotation. So I'm not gonna, uh, let's go like this, good. I don't use my arms, he does not use his, his, his arms, okay? Um, if I stay here on the same line, head to head, and I hold, uh, resist, yeah? and, and, uh, and he holds, I'm just going up, okay? So the first thing you do, you bring your head out, and now you use your leg to make, no, uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. no hands for me, no hands for you. So head out, and you use your legs to make his head fall there. <laughs> Easy. Okay, when he falls, <laughs> stay there. When he falls, okay, you start to turn around t um, to look behind your shoulder and you go up with your hip first, not with the shoulders, okay? Just this, I'll give you like literally one, one minute, 30 seconds, okay? Head out, bring him down, then you push with your hip, you turn like this, you see? And the first thing that goes above him is my hip. Okay? Go, 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 go. We have, we have to cut that. <laughs> so, um, if you did uh, Fritz class, you have learned today not today, sorry, Monday. The, the mini baby bridge. Yeah, it feels weird, but it's uh, extremely strong and uh, useful position. So, you see? There's a mini baby bridge here that I'm going to use as a transition, as a full baby bridge, and I'm going on top, right? Um, what happens a lot of time with, with uh, sweeps is that after the sweep, and I'm still using just this example without ends or anything to understand the rotation. After the sweep, you stop here, and now you try to go up like this. Huh? No? He says, he says yes, you say no. Who does this? You sweep, and then you try to go up with the shoulders. See? A lot of hands. Raise your hand. You do it. <laughs> yeah? And then what happens when we start to put the hands inside is that this guy will start, now you are in this position and you start to fight and blah, blah, blah. And a lot of things happens, right? Put your hands, push me away. There's no frame now to stop the, the, the movement. The hip has to go above your, uh, above your partner, uh, competitor, sworn enemy, yeah. nemesis. <laughs> the hip has to go above your nemesis before the shoulders, most of the time at least. So, we're going into the scissor sweep now, yeah? We can start directly with my knee in front. We don't concern today with, you know, opening the knee, put them in front, doesn't matter. I have the elbow and I have the neck. And you see, if you look at my position, it's a mini baby bridge. Right? This foot is actually higher than the knee. I know that conventional wisdom is this. But when I'm kicking now, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not pushing him to the mat, I'm pushing him there. Make sense? Mm. Yeah? I'm going here because I want you to fall there. You feel the difference. Yeah. Right? Now, your legs most of the time will not be enough to just make somebody fall, most of the time. You need to use your body too. This is my connection. Now I'm going slightly up on my elbow. Not too much, just a bit. I'm not going all the way, yeah? Just a bit. Do you see the mini baby bridge? My head is not relaxed. My head is really crunching in the direction of my hip. Right? Now what happens? That if I need a different angle, I can go a bit higher with my, on my elbow. So the higher I will go with, uh, on my elbow, the more the sweep will start to go in that direction. Why is this important? 
Because if you start to resist and to, to look that direction to give me resistance, I can now change the angle, going higher on my elbow. Yes, no? You follow me, you lost me. Yes. Yes? Follow. follow. Good. So we start from here. My knees are almost connected. My head is not relaxed. This is a very important detail. My head is going up. I'm crunching my obliques here. Elbow, neck, a bit up on my elbow. You see what's happening? You feel like mm. I'm hanging on you. And this is super important because every time you set up the scissor sweep, if you just go a tiny bit behind, just step behind a tiny bit. There's no scissor sweep anymore. Unless I'm hanging. You feel it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> Weird, <Can't> yeah? Get away. <laughs> if I already go here, there's no hanging effect anymore. I'm just here. Add up, this is super important. And now I can kick him there. How do I go up from here? <laughs> if I try to go directly on top of him, it's going to frame. And now a scramble start. Does this happen to you? <laughs> Raise your hand if it happens. <laughs> See, a scramble starts because, but the first part of your body that has to go up is the hip. There's no frame there. Yeah? All good? Wanna try or should I show it again? All good. He says all good, so if you wanted to see it again. Huh? I heard one more time there. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> Tricep, neck, knees. See? Top, this knee is almost driving into this other knee, and the foot is really, really high. Here. I coach a lot for MMA, and I know the common wisdom will be, punch me, this. But yeah, punch me. This is the same, yeah, okay? <laughs> Hip first. Don't look at him. The, this is the sense of the, the first exercise. After I bring him down, if I keep looking at him, haha, I got you. Now I go up like this. Look away, nobody wants to look at him. And go up. Okay? Oh, Good? Go. So, you, you can, actually, you can make that question in front of the camera for the, for the world to see. <laughs> um, yeah, I asked um, if he adjusted the legs or how he uh, changed the angle. Okay. Um, so, uh, this, this depends really on the movement of the moment. Yeah? Do you know judo when they do uh, uchikomi? I don't know uchikomi. Who does judo here? Okay. Can you do uchikomi with somebody else that is not me? <laughs> <laughs> so basically in judo, for example, if they do uchikomi for uh, uchigari, you will go in with the hip, one, two, three, maybe ten times, and then at the end you finish the, the technique. You can do the same with the with the sweep, yeah. And 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 this way you learn to fix your angle on the fly, yeah. So where's my uke? You are now my uke. <laughs> okay, it's written on your passport. That's my okay uke. for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you give me a bit of resistance, okay? Perfect. So now I can do chikomi to to pull, pull, and when I feel good, I go. You see? This way, I, 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 I search for a good angle. Yeah, I, ca I can literally take that, that small part of the sweep, which is just the setup, where I'm searching for the angle, where I feel, yeah, now it's coming. Angle, yeah? And, but it comes, you see, it's a mini baby bridge. It's just here. And now I'm adapting to find that good angle where oh, it's going. Yeah? And uh, so now we can train like this. Because what are the problems that come with a scissor sweep? That is not a nice person and he stretches his leg out. And you were like, fuck it, why? <laughs> yeah? Go back this. Yeah? Yes, no, that, does it happen to you that he goes like there with the leg? And, uh, uh, right? And then you have to kick the leg, put it inside, and then stuff and stuff and stuff. 
a certain angle where that leg is heavy. Right? Mm. Stretch that leg. Yeah? So this is the training that, this is how we are going to train now. First, let him go up with that leg a bit. Yes. Oh, good. Go, go, go up with the leg. Hmm, annoying. Okay. See? Now I'm going up in my baby, ba mini baby bridge. And I'm using this to put his body weight into that leg. Is that easy now to lift that leg? And again, on top. Okay? You take... <laughs> Mini baby bridge. So first I let him go out with the leg. Go. Boom. Okay, good. Now, mini belly bridge. Yeah, now, now he's carrying my body weight. He feels I'm hanging on him. Yeah? If he was not there, I couldn't comfortably stay like this. But I click, click, here, up with the head. The detail of the head up is super important because it's going to activate all the obliques here and makes your position a lot stronger. It's almost like if you are uh, making your body ready for a sprint. And now, I'm driving him, the rotation we did with the first exercise, I'm driving him so that his body weight is falling into that leg. It's not that easy now to, to stretch that leg out of my sweep. And then you go. You don't, you don't do a lot of pressure with the neck from, from, from you? With this one? No, not particularly. No. Also because the less I, I think about this, the more the leg can be adapted if I need to fix the, the angle. Yeah. Yeah? So actually we talked about two exercises now that, that, that you can do. One is the Uchimata, where you go, you, let's do it like this. First do this, okay? When I go for the sweep, you stretch the leg out. Boom, yes, you can, you can completely jump away. Yeah, exactly. Okay, find this one first. When you feel comfortable in, in driving his body weight in a way that everything is on that, this leg and cannot just jump out now, you can try to, uh, to do Chikomi for the sweep. And now we can give you more resistance and, and, and you go, yeah, try, 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 finish. Yes, no? Yes. So the, the mm -hmm. pressure from heel to heel stops in picking the leg up. Sorry how, again. How do, you, how do you stop the leg coming over? Again, I am driving him, I hang on him, and I drive him so that his body weight is going into that leg. Okay. He cannot lift that leg now. Okay. Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> yes, Mark. <laughs> so what, what I did because he blocked my leg obviously because all my weight was on my right knee what I did was just simply to to step out here and then that was the question what yeah. could fall out there so uh, and the answer is still the angle mm. yeah a lot of you are are forgetting the first uh, basic mechanic that we did so Maybe some other First exercise. Bring him down from an angle. Now I don't go up like this, crunching. I extend, I, I, it's a, look, baby bridge, look away. Go on top with your hip first. Scissor sweep. Even if everything is fine, if I keep looking at him like this, uh, I, <laughs> here, there's no drive to finish that. that I, I cannot move him enough to finish the sweep, but I'm not doing the rotation from the first exercise. Yeah? So, just a bit <coughs> up on the elbow, not too much, just a bit. If he was not there, I would fall back again. Yeah? But I'm hanging on him. Just a bit. Now, when I start to sweep, he, he backstep there, right? 
but because of the elbow, I can go higher and increase the angle and still finish the sweep. Yeah? In which this was the first thing we talked about. When I start the scissor sweep, I'm just hanging a bit there. If I need to increase the angle, I can play with this to change the angle and finish the sweep even when you start to defend. Right? Mm. So, uh, basic of the scissors, basic of the you know position, mini baby bridge. This leg is driving there and not there because you want this hip to fall on the mat, not to to go up there. You you can play with Uchifomi if you feel it's giving because sometimes, especially if you are starving, it will start to give you resistance. It sits back. So now I can play like this and finish and still finish it, right? Yeah, you have to, to you have to create a bit of this uh, motion, so you, you generate momentum for yourself. Uh, so, <laughs> butterfly. Okay, extremely similar. How do I start? My position is clearly different, right? Because now we're playing with with the butterfly. I recommend you to start with the head falling over your knee. If your head is falling above the hip, as soon as you put a tiny bit of pressure, you are going flat. Go back, please. And here, okay, my head is falling over the knee, my hip is behind. Now if it puts pressure, I can give a decent resistance. Now I start, go, go, go. Now I start to drive again. You see the position? I'm still in a mini baby bridge. Only the elbow is on the mat. My head is really crunching there. Boom. Sometimes you will fall in half cut. Sometimes you will fall uh, directly in the mount. So I'm here. It's putting pressure. And I'm giving this resistance. My head is going there. Now when I'm falling, look. On the side, not back. Go back, please. You will not, you cannot do it oh, if you try to sweep like this. You will flatten everything. You want to fall there with your head. Go. See? <laughs> yes, no? Yeah. The structure, thank you. The structure is still the same. Even if I'm, if I'm starting from a butterfly, the moment I fall, now I'm here. My head is crunching in the direction of the knee. The only difference, actually, is that because the hook is inside the leg, now I will have to lift him and then turn him to make him fall. This goes on the foot, yeah? It's not your leg kicking in there. The leg is just the connection. The sweep happens when with this leg you push on the bottom and you lift your hip so that you flip them. Yes, no? Yes. Yeah. Then try. Even if you sit less because of the position, I'm still going there. Okay. This was the, the question was uh, interesting. Yeah? And, um, we keep playing with this idea of the angles, okay? Uh, you, Tarto, there, now. <laughs> Tarto. Tarto. Okay. Shield Croy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so there is one line here and one line here, okay? Until I push him there, you no know, hope resist, yeah? I cannot roll him on that line and I cannot roll him on this line for obvious reasons. I hope I don't have to explain you why, yeah? <laughs> but 45 degrees there and 45, 45 degrees there, yeah? Direction of the hip. I can put the hip on the mat, direction of the shoulder, I can roll him on the shoulders, okay? And 
that's the secret of the sweeps. You're welcome. You will sweep <laughs> absolutely everybody in the world from now on. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> you go for the. So I always have this grip behind the tricep, yeah, because I don't want, for obvious reasons, that this end goes there. Right? If I have to explain you why, you are at the wrong camp. <laughs> okay? But if he kills this angle for the sweep, I can still play to get the other angle. It's going to be very difficult for him to, to stop both angles at the same time, yeah? If he manages to, to post at both 45 degrees and then legs, your setup was wrong. You have to do something else. Call guard again, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you fail the sweep. It happens, nobody's perfect, yeah? Okay, and... Uh, you can play this now, also with the scissor sweep. I mess up this, and look there. more, 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 look there. See? I'm just searching for the, for the other angle. Now, what do I do from here? Do I keep trying to go on top like this? No, no. it's gonna scramble. I keep looking away, nobody wants to look at him, and I project my hip over him immediately. Okay. Does it make sense or is that a delirium of mine? It makes sense. Watch your answers. <laughs> so, let your partner post there. Okay, I felt this. I changed the angle because I have a good baby bridge. And now I crawl him, uh, I sweep him over the, the hip, not over the shoulder anymore. Same if I have a, a butterfly hook. I. I mess up something here, there is a post. Okay. You see, I bring him a bit higher, like the Uchikomi exercise from the beginning, and now I can go, I can make him fall over the hip again. In, th in, in this case, I went more uh, in a breast up style because I engaged the upper part of the body. But you can play with this because these are concepts, and the more you are able to play with it, the quicker you will adapt to situations in a real fight scenario like uh, Adelberg streets, drunk, stuff like that. Uh, when you do the butterfly guard, you don't have to stay always on the elbow for the baby bridge, you just have to stay on the side and not get flat on the back. No, I, I try to stay always on the elbow. Uh, when, if this shoulder touches the mat, I start to be, I start to be flat. I'm always a bit okay. here. Yeah? Uh, I need this small elevation. Yeah? I, I couldn't stay like this. this. I would just rock back like a rocking chair, right? But I connect to him, and now I'm hanging. Now he's going to feel my body weight. Now he has to give me resistance, and I can use that to create the, this whip. Yes, no? Look, guys, if you, if you go for a flower suit, it's still the same. The only difference is that my legs are not in front. Right? Look at this. <laughs> huh? You see the position? Mm. As soon as I, set, I, do, I do my setup for the, butter, for the flower sweep, I bring his head down. Ah, you want to feel there. Now I had to change the angle. I had to go very high because he posted there. So now he's feeling that he's falling more on the direction of the hip. There. You like change from shoulder to hip to shoulder. It, 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 it depends what he's doing, yes. Yes. Yes or no? Yeah. Wanna try? Yeah. Go try. <laughs> so let's try to make uh, the job of the person who's whipping harder. Yeah? And there is a, you, you know, that one trick that the black belts don't want you to know? <laughs> Somebody there. <laughs> 
set up uh, scissors. Scissors. <coughs> I'm watching the direction where I'm going. You have to watch in the direction where you are going. Always. It change it completely changes your balance. It's like it's a, a very heavy change of, of your balance. Yeah. Uh, there is a cool exercise that I can show you to understand better this. And it's it's from the mount, but it's related somehow. Yeah, no, see, see to me. You know Upa, yes? Where you trap the leg, you trap the, the elbow, okay? Good, watch there now. And feel this. Mm -hmm. Come back. Now look at the camera. <laughs> Say hi, mama, hi, hi grandma, yeah? What, the more I, I go for the Upa, the more you watch there. You feel the balance now? Mm -hmm. It's completely different. It's a whole new world. Thank you. You can try if you want. Or just go into the sweep. Let's say scissor sweep. Head and hip. You see? And try to point everything in that direction. Because that's the direction where he wants me to go. So I try to be aligned with the direction where I'm supposed to walk. If if he goes for the scissor sweep and I'm watching there. And fly because together with the direction where you're watching comes the rotation of your hip. Yeah, nose. I mean eyes, nose. Yeah, eyes, shoulder, hip. You cannot watch there and turn your hip there. Yeah, yeah that doesn't work. So come again. So you you can just play hip. So yeah. Here, try. Move this. Go back. Try. Now, now you will have to play a lot more with Uchikomi to, to create momentum and changing the angle between the shoulder and the hip. Because I will not just roll because you're, you're nice, <laughs> right? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. So every time any sweep, the basic defense will be to align your eyes and your hip in the direction where he's trying to sweep you. And then figure out for yourself what comes after. You know, after comes a million technique, you go on YouTube and how do you defend the sweep? But it has to start from here. Eyes and hip align in the same direction where he's trying to sweep you. Okay? So five, I know it's eight, but yeah, you know why? Uh, just, just two, three minutes, please. Keep trying to sweep, but now the, the the person in front of you will try to align eyes and hip to be a lot more complicated to sweep. And now you can try to challenge, create momentum with Uchikomi, change the angle all the time, and see what happens. Yeah, don't get frustrated if suddenly nothing works anymore because uh, because it's like this, and you you just have to 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 train and find more solutions. Okay. Just two minutes, please. So we wrap up the class and then, you know, pictures and say goodbye and everything. Mm -hmm. Go. <laughs> questions there are uh, the open mats for that just catch up with me yeah any moment any open mat and I'll answer anything also not strictly script related questions if you have time cool yes nice picture thank you